We're jumping into the second half now, going into second five. From here, we're going to take that nine block and pull it all the way over to the left side of the body. We're going to step straight into that back stance and hit that compound square block. So you need a fist at the top, knife hand block in the front. From here, maintain your back stance as you shift the hip into the upset knife into the front. Look where you're going to go. Pull the hands in tight and then really focus on the hips and the turning of the feet to deliver that punch. Make sure that vertical stays in the midsection. From here, we're going into the jump number three front kick. Hands are coming in, and then we pull into the palm heel. And we're gonna redo that palm heel one more time because we wanna make sure we don't reach. We want those hands to tuck in. So when we're coming out of that jump front kick again, she's gonna tuck both hands in and then deliver that palm heel. Remember, single-handed execution. From here, we're gonna pull the palm heel back. The hand's gonna open to the side. You want to make sure that your fist is in a position to where you could give a thumbs up. If it's angled, you didn't quite set the hands up properly. So now we're going to visualize a kick coming into the body. She's going to pull the foot back and sweep it across to where once again, if she does a thumbs up, it's going straight up in the air. We don't want that thing to turn to the side at all, otherwise we've got improper wrist position. Once again, single handed, she's pulling and then we're going to pivot off the back, hit that back elbow in the yeah. stance and immediately into the knife hand strike. All right, that's your fifth segment from Shim Jump.